today I'm going to show you how to make lists and tables. So the result will be some something around this. As you can see, we have two kinds of lists in here. First one is called ordered list. Why? Because items are in order and they are like a numbered numbers before them. Okay, one, two, three. And this is unordered list. Why? Because the items are not number, numbered, yeah? There are no numbers before them. So this is the table. So we're gonna see how to make the tables uh, with headers like this. You, you can see they are like a bold ones. And uh, how to connect uh, rows and uh, columns, cells in the columns. Okay, so basically let's start because we have only 15 minutes. Uh, we're gonna define the stuff only in the body section because body section is to put crap inside the website okay so how to how to define the lists so if uh, there are two types of lists first is ordered list the command is ol so you open ordered list and then you have to close it after all yeah and uh, the second type of the list is unordered list so unordered list and uh, backslash ul ul and ol so this is shortcut from english and the items inside the list they're called il item list yeah no sorry sorry l -E, list item and you open them then you have to close them of course yeah let's make it uh, yeah you can get confused with it actually copy and paste you don't have to put uh, one after another because it's list so you don't need to be at it automatically recognized uh, it has a list element yeah two three four five whoops sorry four five and uh, six and let's put the name of the list so it will be ordered list and this stuff it will be unordered list okay so save refresh okay we got ordered list and unordered list okay you got elements in order and elements without uh, you know numbers okay so next thing we, we want to do will be tables tables are a bit more complicated let's put the uh, h2 in here tables close it h2 and the list let's make some order in the website yeah h2 say lists okay and h2 yeah okay so basically to define table you have to put table yeah and uh, when you finish working with table you have to close the table okay so you know first two commands so what's in the tables in the tables we got uh, rows and we got in every row we, we should have some uh, some items they are called cells so basically rows it's the R so table row let's say our table will, will have five rows and five columns how to how to make it so we have to define uh, uh, rows first we're gonna put some stuff in here it will be five five cells uh, cells you define between the TD so you have to open and close again again the same yeah and uh, copy and paste it paste it four more times one two three four so now it has like a five and let's put some uh, data inside so this will be like a number one number two number three oh see be very careful with this okay number three number four and number five let's copy 
let's paste we wanted to have five five rows we got five columns one two three four five and we got five rows we can add here like a 1.1 1 .1 and here 1.2 1.3 1 1.4 and you can do it by yourself in in uh, in every every single column okay so it will be a practice for you so you can better understand it but i have no time to work with this so this is just for you okay so let's see the result for now result is table one two three four five uh, to make it more clear we're gonna put some borders in the table where to put it just in the table section you put border and let's say the border will be five in pixels of course this is the height or width whatever it, you name it save refresh okay so now now you can see the table it's proper now uh, so basically on the top of the table there should be table headers so how to define headers you just put th inside instead of td headers headers okay headers this is practice this is good practice because you have to write a lot of stuff so then you know uh, what's the difference between them what they're used for yeah so don't just copy and paste write it by yourself okay let's see the result now there, they should be in bold okay yeah you could use bold command b but it's just proper to use th okay uh, another thing you can do as you, in table you can define the table background or we can put a background just in the row let's see let's say we want to have a gray background so let's say background color just a shortcut is all commands in html come from english so it's really be gray so it's possible to find it out by yourself then like an experience as you're finding out new commands okay so now all tr all the row has a background great color okay so sometimes you want to add the table name like on the top or on the bottom so table name is defined in the caption sex section yeah you put caption and uh, you put like a table name in here and you have to of course close the caption let's see the result save okay see and the uh, caption doesn't have to be centered you can put it in on left right you just need to use align command rush left so let's see the result save it hasn't changed why because sometimes it's aligned and sometimes it's let's say v align why you have to figure it out by yourself uh, okay I screw it up this is homework for me and, uh, I will find it out and the next video I will show you it for sure yeah uh, you see I'm not perfect I'm I'm learning like you okay so So, next thing you want to do, you want to connect some rows and uh, some columns. So let's see, let's say we want to connect the last two. So, this one and this one, these two cells, they are in different columns, yeah? We want this number four to eat the number five. How to do it? We just use call span command. So you put... You have to delay it one. You don't need it. And uh, just use call span 
command call span and you have to define how many calls it gonna eat how many cells it, it will have yeah so let's see the result yeah this crap ate this and uh, for sure in the columns in the, the cells you can you can put a line uh, center as we see the result yeah see it's aligned uh, okay so let's say we want to this 1.3 it 1.4 uh, basically we should delete 1.4 then because it's gonna be eaten by 1.3 and uh, put a command row span and of course it's gonna eat the it's gonna have like two cells itself for itself so let's see save okay yeah there are many 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 more commands for this you know and you can use uh, css styling for it uh, to find out more about styling guy you're invited to see other videos on this channel uh, without styling there are many 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 more comments but i have no time to no time to explain them all you know because it's only 15 minutes so this is the code you can stop now and uh, compare the code with the result thank you for watching